All right, guys, we are out here at the gun range today because turkey season is less than five days away. So I brought the Weatherby Element out, and I want to pattern it and see what it does at different ranges. I also brought three different types of ammunition, all turkey loads, obviously, uh, all different sizes, and I want to see what it's going to do to a turkey's head at 15, 25, and 40 yards. And I want to see what my effective range will be at those different distances. So I'm going to go set this up and we're going to shoot a turkey's head. But it's really a target. So I'm not 100% sure, but I'm pretty sure that is accurate to size. The beak looks a little big, but this is going to be uh, our first shot at 15 yards. And uh, we'll shoot it and see how effective this Weatherby is with three types of ammunition. So the choke I'm going to be using is actually the same choke I used to uh, hunt geese and ducks with. It's a uh, standard choke that comes with uh, the Weatherby element when you buy it, and on it says long range steel. We're obviously not shooting steel, these are lead rounds we've got, but if it will shoot steel, it will shoot lead because lead is softer. So, But I've been really impressed with this choke for shooting ducks and geese at a longer distances, 40 to 50 yards, so we're gonna see what it does with some of these turkey rounds. All right, first one we're gonna try is this uh, triple beard. Heavy shot, I don't know who makes it. This stuff. But it is, uh, the specs on it, there's a three inch. It says five, six, and seven shots, so it must be a mixed bag, an ounce and three quarters, and supposedly it shoots 1,300 feet per second. So we're gonna try this one first at 15 yards. I can just tell you from here, uh, looks like that round would do it the job. Let's go take a look at it. So this is that heavy shot, triple beard, 15 yards. <laughs> Jeez. I'm not going to count the amount of the uh, number of pellets that are inside the head, but it's a lot. All right, the next one we're going to shoot is this Remington Nitro Turkey. Uh, the specs on it is 12 gauge, 3 inch. This is shooting 1,210 feet per second, which is a little bit slower. It's one and seven eighths shot, ounce shot, four shot. So we'll see what it does at 15 yards. Wowzers. First initial reaction, that one felt like it kicked a lot harder for some reason. Let's go see what it did to the target. So, pretty much same outcome, that's a dead turkey. I would say this is like where the impact hit mostly. I'm aiming up here, so, I mean, dead turkey. Doesn't seem like there's as many BBs that came out, but dead turkey nonetheless. The third and final load we brought out here is this Winchester Double X, uh, 12 gauge, three inch. This is also shooting at 1300 feet per second. This is one and three quarter ounce, four shots, very similar to uh, the triple beard that we shot. Let's see what it does. Once again, dead turkey. It hit so hard, I knocked the target right off the stand. So Turned it into a gopher. <clears throat> um, pretty much the same. This one, the only difference with this one is it doesn't seem like there's a, a center of where it, you know, the majority of the views hit. It's pretty spread out at that far. I mean, once again, dead turkey. But I also think once we move back, I think I'm just going to move it back to 40 yards and not do the 25 and shoot. And then uh, I think that will give us a better indication of where the shotgun is patterning, but also what this different ammunition will do. So, and I would assume 40 yards will be kind of my maximum range uh, when shooting a turkey, but let's go see. All right, we've moved the target back to 35 yards. We're gonna start out with the uh, triple beard again and see what it does at this longer distance. Super interesting. So we stepped it back another 20 yards. And uh, even with that long choke I have in there, we've only got one, two, three, maybe five, six BBs that are in the kill shot, which, I mean, obviously it spreads out a lot more. 
further you get out there. But uh, we'll shoot that other stuff and uh, see what it does. See if the changing loads changes what it does. All right, next up at 35 yards is the uh, Remington Nitro Turkey. We'll see what this does, if it changes anything. Well, not much different. There's a few more pellets. I mean, six pellets in, seven, eight, I guess those are in there. Eight pellets in the kill zone. What this tells me though is I feel like I'm aiming up here. I feel like I'm shooting low. So, I mean, that's a dead turkey. Well, once again, I wouldn't want to shoot turkey any further than that. Last one at this distance will be the uh, Winchester Double X. Once again, let's go take a gander. Um, not much different. I mean, we got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven in the kill zone. That's not really kill zone, so six in the kill zone. But what I'm thinking is happening, I may, I've aimed up here the whole time. 15 yards or at 35 yards, I've aimed right here. And you don't ever think about it much, but do you aim higher with a shotgun when you get to further distances? Well, yeah, probably. It's just like a rifle or a bow or anything. I'm gonna get a bigger target, a box, and I'm gonna put a dot in the middle, and I'm gonna shoot it, and it's gonna show me more where that pattern is going at 35 yards, because as you can see, it's a pretty small target. I have a feeling that most of the pattern is down here at this distance, but I'll try it out and see real quick. So I got this box, I'm gonna put this sticker here, that's gonna be my aiming point. But this is a bigger surface area, so it should be able to see a little better where this shotgun's patterning. I'm guessing it's gonna be down here, lower. But let's go see. Since I haven't really been able to tell the difference uh, between the different loads, I'm just going to shoot this, uh, the triple beard. Uh, everything shot really similar. So I'm going to shoot this at this distance and uh, see exactly where the shotgun's patterning. Wow. As I assumed, two right in the money zone. But look at all this pattern underneath. So obviously, 30 yards, 35 yards, that's still a pretty tight pattern, right? Look at these, these are all in the kill zone. So what it tells me is 30, probably 25 yards and beyond, I just need to aim at the top of the head instead of right at the head. But that definitely will kill a turkey. It's good to see that pattern is down low. And uh, yeah, we're gonna shoot this gun a couple more times and uh, it's good to get out and shoot. A lot of people I don't think get out and pattern a shotgun. I never really thought about it much until this year. And so, know where the shotgun's shooting. We owe it to the animals, obviously, to make a quick, clean kill, hopefully. So, that was good. Now I kinda know where the shotgun's patterning and uh, know what to do at, at further distances. I don't think I'll shoot a turkey further than 30 yards, that's for sure, so. But I should be able to get one that close because I'm pretty good at turkey calling. <laughs> Well, I feel like uh, I'm a lot more prepared for turkey hunting now. It was very interesting to see exactly how that shotgun patterned and what it did at 15 compared to 35 yards. We showed you a bunch of different ammunition and I can honestly say that I didn't think one of those boxes ammunition was better than the other. So uh, it, they were all turkey loads obviously and that's what we'll be shooting. But we we're gonna show you the after targets and kind of compare, but they honestly look the same. So. Uh, turkey hunting starts, like I said, in a few days, and uh, now I just need to go out and uh, scout some turkeys the next couple evenings and find out where they're going to be roosting at, and then we're going to try to call a turkey in and kill it. I've killed two turkeys in my life, uh, one in Utah, one in Idaho. Both, both turkeys, I tried calling them numerous times, and it never worked, and both turkeys, I ended up spotting them from a long ways away and putting a sneak on them, putting a stalk on them. So this year I really want to try to call a turkey in and shoot them. So that's the plan. That's what we're going to be shooting for, <laughs> pun intended. And uh, see how we do.